Alright guys, um, we're going to be using a third party uh, web service to hook in to our ASP.NET application today uh, to check uh, the rankings of a website for a keyword. I'm going to be using the uh, Ecocoma uh, marketing services which are free uh, to use. Um, the link here which is uh, service.ecocoma.com forward slash marketing forward slash google dot asmx I'll include in the uh, the links below the video, and we're going to hook into the Google Web Services using uh, these services. So if you just fire up uh, Visual Web Developer, I've already created a blank ASP.NET um, solution here. So I suggest you do the same. Make sure it's C sharp, and click on your application and go into Add Web Reference. Paste that URL in, and the Google Web Service should be found. And all you have to do is click Add Reference. And that should integrate it into the application. Okay, so create a new item, a web form. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we'll just start off by including the web services into our code behind file. So com dot coma dot service and that's it they're included in so what we'll do on the front end first is we'll just quickly create our application which is going to be the Google keyword site rank checker 3000 Just going to add in some extra detail here. Basically, these services um, that use Google, they use Google.com, which is kind of annoying. Um, means you can't specify uh, any sort of local searches, more like a country based. So I can't, for example, get any Irish results in these checks. It just uses the USA results. But that's fine because the idea of this tutorial is to show you how to use web services, not to build an application. So we're going to create some text boxes here because our application is going to take two um, inputs. It's going to take a website URL to check. Um, so that it has a website URL to check against, and it's going to take a keyword that it's going to check against. So we'll just give these keywords a ID, website URL, keyword text. I'm going to throw a button in there now as well so we can execute the button. Text is just going to be get my ranking. And we'll throw in a A label so we can give the results to the user. And just call it ranking results. Cool, I'll just wipe the text up that's in there at the minute. So that's done there, pretty cool. Let's get into the C sharp file. Um, actually, what we'll do quickly is I'll just have a look at the design view. And it's looking fine, the layout's fine. And I'll just double click on our button because that automatically creates the method, which is nice and handy. So, what you want to do is you want to create a object or instantiate our service. So it's going to be Google service. I'll just call it GS equals new Google service. And we're going to be using the Google keyword ranking method. So we're going to create a Google. And then you can see when we type Google in the what the web service is uh, open up to us. Uh, Google count, uh, Google keyword ranking, Google keyword suggest. We're going to be using Google keyword ranking. Um, so, uh, Google Key Ranking seems like a, an appropriate name to call it. Cool. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to call our web service method on our Google service object. So, we're going to say Google Keyword Ranking equals uh, GS dot get keyword ranking and that's our method and if we just quickly 
have a look back here, we'll see that get keyword ranking was the method. It seems to be a typo in it, and that's our SOAP messages, our, our request and response messages that we're going to be uh, using, which is cool. And we can see the variables that come back, which is a, basically a URL, a keyword, and page. And we see the URLs maybe send, which is a key ID, a domain ID, a keyword, and a URL. So we'll just open up. Our web service again so that we can see now it's looking for a key ID, a domain ID, a keyword, and a string URL. Now you need to just quickly pop over to the e commerce site. Um, and if you scroll down on the marketing service, uh, web service ASPX page, you'll see that they've listed a key ID which they refresh every week for the trial services because you need to pay to have to use these services like in an application that you're going to use. So we're just doing this for a demo. So we'll pop the first one in there and the domain ID they ask to the flank. Um, the Google keyword, well, we know it's going to be our keyword.txt from our control, and, and we're going to have our website URL.txt. Now, we're going to do a quick if statement here because depending on whether there was a problem or not, the results will be slightly different. And we're going to check on our Google keyword ranking object, we're going to check the page what's in the page and everything returned is a string um, if the page is equal to zero um, then there was a problem and we should update the user accordingly so ranking results equals there was a problem check your check what you have entered entered or maybe your site ranks badly for that keyword because if your keyword is way way out then you're definitely not going to be listed in the top 50 pages which I think is what the service checks for and if you were successful we're going to get some results back here and we're going to, have to split these up so um, do this as quickly as possible the URL is going to be Google Keyword Ranking URL. You remember when I was showing you the um, the SOAP messages that we had these specific three variables in return: the URL, the page, and the keyword. Now. Um, which is kind of cool about these web services, the way they're developed, is we don't have to deal with the XML end of things. Um, in another video I'll do later, you'll see that sometimes at some web services they return the raw XML for you to have to deal with, and I'll show you how you deal with that using Link. But for this video tutorial, because it's sort of an intro into it, this was a pretty cool service to use. It avoids that problem, so you kind of get to see just how, how cool it is to use web services. So we have our page your keyword Google keyword ranking and then our keyword that we've requested to be ranked for and that's us that should be working and um, let's I'll just quickly click back to the source here and let's view it in the browser and see how it looks okay um, whoa okay anyway these typos there. The website I'm going to check is a website that I work on, which is quote me.ie, and the keyword that I try to optimize for, which is uh, actually cheap car insurance. I don't now it's in USA, so it's not going to be as good as it would be in Google.ie, but I think we're still on the first page. So we just click get my ranking, and there we go. It says URL for quote.ie page one. Um, cheap car insurance Ireland. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, if you put in some bad details in here and click get ranking, you'll see that there was a problem um, with or with your, your entry or you, your site ranks badly. And for a keyword that our site would definitely rank bad before would be Sony TVs. And the same problem pops up, not because there's a problem with the data, but because Quote does not rank well for Sony TVs. So, yeah, that's a quick intro into using web services. Um, I'll include a link to 
download the source for this tutorial and in the next tutorial what we'll do is we'll deal with another web service that returns XML that you have to work your way through which is probably going to be a stock uh, stock quotes or something like that so yeah thanks for watching see you later